Hello and welcome to JCR. Today's video is going to be about uh, using FreeSync and some fixes on some problematic panels. Uh, I posted a video a couple of months ago about a, a fix I found online. Um, that one worked for me for a while and then when drivers starting to update and as things get along, uh, it in the end it just didn't work at uh, on my device. Uh, this one though is for me has been working for the last three last three weeks or so and uh, I thought I posted online. Uh, these are uh, basically on monitors that really have really 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 small free sync range. Uh, like on a monitor it's the Viotech uh, GM 34C and uh, it has a free sync range of about 84 to 100 hertz uh, FPS and uh, yeah it was pretty hard just staying inside a buffer and uh, even as I tried and worked around and stuff like that it didn't really pan out and uh, so yeah in the end this is what I found uh, you're gonna have to need, you need uh, only one um, software for this one. It's, uh, it's called CRU Custom Resolution Utility. Utility. Uh, you can download it online. I can gonna post a little uh, uh, link in the description below. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. To do it. it takes about two minutes. It's really fast, and really easy. And uh, here you go. So here you are on my desktop. You once you download. There we go. Once you download the, the, the utility, you unzip it, whatever. Uh, you're gonna go on the first one, it's CRU. You're gonna be greeted by this little window here. Uh, as you can see, I already added a couple of uh, extra resolutions and stuff like that. Uh, on some monitors, you're gonna have like like on mine, it was 99.998 hertz instead of a flat 100. I don't really know if it does anything, but yeah, keep in mind with these things, everything's possible. So, for starters, you're gonna go on edit, you're gonna go on range limit and move it from whatever limit you have at first. Mine was 80, so I put 40. And instead of putting it at the max refresh rate of your monitor, since mine is 100 hertz, I put uh, 95 on it instead. You click on OK really depends on which monitor and how FreeSync supports it or is implemented. Um, at that point you can modify the uh, refresh rate right over here. Like I said, I don't really know if it does anything, but eh. better be safe than sorry. After all, after that, you go on to extension blocks right here. Go on edit, then add this one here. Then you go to free sync range. Then you add the same values that you first added at first. Again, I don't know if this extra step really does anything, but I did it anyway, and so far it's been working great. There, I have no flickers on any sort of games, applications, or anything. So yeah. Like I said, it's a little fix, might work, might not work. For me, it's really on my particular panel it really works. Um, but yeah, try it out. If you have any comments or anything like that, just leave them below. Um, it should work with pretty much everything. And like I said, the range will depend on your panel and your model. So if you have a 144 hertz panel and it does, and FreeSync doesn't work for whatever reason, um, you know doesn't cost you anything it's pretty easy and uh, it's a pretty good fix so see you around subscribe I'm gonna start doing a little bit more videos like this these uh, from time to time so see you around